A Florida native and artist, Chris Vallier, uses a classical and experimental approach to combine representation and abstraction in his work. Vallier's artwork has been featured across the globe. His paintings have hung in over 130 exhibits from New York to Germany and now again in Tampa Bay. Welcome, Chris. I always hate trying to like put words as I'm reading on the screen to describe the artwork, for instance, that we're seeing behind you. But this this exhibit, I mean, it really word wise seems like a lot. But you say this is something that you've always kind of built your career around. Explain what we're talking about a little bit. Well, I just you know think that um, what we see on television, what we see in advertising, basically constructs reality for the masses. Um, we're seeing this image over and over and over again. We just accept it as reality when in it's far from reality. It's it's something that's already pre-made, predetermined. Uh, these models have been painted with makeup. They've been painted with probably an airbrush, and then they've been photographed, and then they've been probably manipulated with Photoshop and then reproduced, and everybody wants to aspire to that, uh, to that look. And so I always found that kind of odd. And so in my work, I tried to recontextualize that in the opposite way um, to show, I try to make my paintings look very photorealistic, um, but then when you get close to them, you obviously just paint. You know, it's interesting right now what's going on in society. And you and I were talking about the break, that obviously that's on the forefront of so many people's minds. But this was something, an idea that you had when you even began your career many years ago. What was it about this reality versus perception thing that really kind of motivated you and, and became your muse, if you will? Well, I think, you know, just growing up in the age of, of television, um, uh, you learn basically things that aren't talked about as, a, as you know, growing up. Uh, you learn what they are, what is sexy, what is not, who has power, who does not, is all based on what you learn from, from television and from advertisement and movies and so forth. So I've always been fascinated by that correlation of um, how we process those images and those uh, social uh, stances mm -hmm. in our everyday life. Okay, so Chris, let's use this painting. Actually, we're looking at some right now. I mean, obviously, I see the, the Chanel logo right there, for, first and foremost, over a skull. Talk about these paintings and how they kind of go with the message that you were just describing. Well, in the skull paintings, you know, it's kind of dealing with, um, is beauty only skin deep? You know, mm -hmm. everybody wants to get these expensive uh, items because of just the brand that they are. Um, but in the end, you know, we're all going to be left, we're all going to just be a skull. Uh, at the end. And so I was kind of really in, trying to play on that duality between beauty and, uh, and death in a way. I'll say, oh, I see the Louis Vuitton there. And, says, and now let's talk about this one behind you. Again, I see the Louis Vuitton, but her lips are kind of mass out. Am, am I just interpreting that? Or is that the message you were going for? In this no, painting? that's um, basically, I'm really interested in when absence can have a presence. And basically, because uh, we just accept these images as reality, we don't kind of question them. Although we know that they've been manipulated. Um, we tend to uh, not have a voice in the construct of that reality. And so having the voice, the, the mouth missing, she is voiceless. Louis Vuitton is speaking for her. And then the head is not complete. You know, there's no thought that's happening in the construct of this reality. Uh, again, I mean, that is very, very eye-catching. I absolutely loved that piece there when you had it brought into the studio. And we do want to talk about how people, though, can see more of your artwork and the show that you have going on right now in Tampa Bay. So please share some of the details with us, if you will. Well, the exhibition is called Branded, and it's uh, through Cast Contemporary. And right now it's at the Epicurean Hotel. Um, and it'll be there through August. Okay, again, thank you so much. And we didn't even get to touch on the fact that you're a professor as well and you work at University of Tampa, right? Correct. Okay, so the bottom line is, Chris, you're gonna have to come back so we can talk more. How's okay. that sound? Okay, sounds good. Okay, good right, plan. Again, go out and check out Chris for yourself. Thank you so much.